You can catch our first guest every morning on the Today Show. Please welcome Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kopi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. Good. I'm, I, I'm, how are y'all? Uh, if, if you're wondering, Andy is, uh, <laughs> falling apart. Andy is falling apart. So here's, here's, uh, first of all, hi. hi. Um, Hoda, you were in, you were in the studio in January back before we knew what was happening mm -hmm. in the world. And I understand that you had a dance party backstage and I didn't know anything about it. Okay, the craziest thing in the world, when I was on your show, I was playing Alicia Keys' song, Underdog, a thousand times over. We were cranking it up in your dressing room. We were having like the time of our lives. And literally, I, I, out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone go by and I was like, and I yelled, Alicia, she jumped in the dressing room. This is one of my favorite moments I think I've ever had. Sang the song to her track and we danced. I. I, it'll go down, Ellen, honestly, as like my top five events of my life. Laura and Mary, our hair and makeup artists, were like, we, they still talk about it. And Alicia like made my day. So you don't even know what your show is doing when your show's not even on. It's, it's a fun atmosphere all the way around, even backstage. That's so fun. That's so cool that that happened. And Savannah, that could have happened for you as well. You were booked to be there in March, and you had to cancel because everything was shutting down. Who knows who you could have been dancing with back there? I know. It could have been me and you dancing. We could have been hanging out in your dressing room, having a cocktail, we could having have. like besties. But yep. no, none of that happened. Yep. I am so sorry that we didn't get to see you. Me too. But uh, how how's your how's your eye doing? Well, you know, my <laughs> yeah. my then 2-year-old threw a train in my eye. I, it wasn't on purpose, I don't think. I mean, he just was doing it and then um it detached the retina. So then I had that whole surgery which I think I probably told you about. And it's, you know, it's getting better. The surgery worked, but now I have a lot of people get complications and I did too. So I have to have cataract surgery but I can't have it until all of this has passed. So it's kind of funny, kind of not. I'm like, I see, but I see big blurry spots. That's the thing you don't even think about. You think about changing diapers and no sleep, but you don't think about the train in the eye. And now, now you do. Um, both of you have kids, two kids under five. That has to be very challenging. And you're both still working, which is, I, I don't know how you're doing it. We're in a, we're, so we went upstate, we're a few hours out of the city. Um, and so we, I do it from the basement and they actually pipe in the shot behind me. So it looks not like I'm in a basement and, um, yeah. So then, so they're upstairs, but it's, if you listen carefully, a lot of times you can hear, like, I would say the pitter patter of little feet, but it's more like 25 hyenas roaring through or scooters rolling back and forth. Um, but you know, it, I feel really grateful actually to be able to still do the job. Hoda's there at the studio holding down the fort. The, well, the studio is weird, Ellen. I got to tell you because you've been to our place a million times. But it's usually teeming with people. They're like tons of camera people, floor directors, hair, makeup. Like you can't walk through without saying excuse me. Literally, there's nobody there. They there's a mic and a, a um, an IFB. They leave on the desk. There's a cameraman, one guy who is in charge of all of them, and there are a couple of people in the control room. But you, my, the first words usually out of my mouth in the morning, sometimes are with Savannah when I say "Good morning, how was your night?" and we get ready to do the show. Like it's never been like that. It's almost like walking into like an empty warehouse. It's totally and completely weird, really. Ellen, that guy is that, yeah that well, think... weird that that guy in your shot, you know. <laughs> He's back. I, yeah. He's back. The weird guy just wants to say, I watch you guys every morning, and I think the way you've transitioned during this time has been flawless. Oh. You guys still do an, an unbelievably oh. important show every day. Thank I just wanted to say that. Me. Yeah. And, and my, la my lady agrees. <laughs> yes. The, the lady agrees. Um, and I agree as well. It's, it's, uh, it is great that we're able to, to keep this going, and, I, and it makes me really happy that we figured out a way that we could keep going for, for you know, the sake of, of everyone that, that works with us. Um, and we have so, I mean, it's challenging because, you know, no one's here. The writers are, are working and the producers are working and the editors are working and... Um, All she's got is an idiot in the window. <laughs> got an idiot in a mannequin. Um, <clears throat> but um, 
you know, Hoda, last time you were here, you were talking about your wedding, and I assume that uh, that's that's postponed unless y'all got married in your house. <laughs> no, we didn't. Um, I we we are kind of guessing that it will. It was a destination wedding, which would mean people getting on planes. So we were kind of holding out to see uh, what could happen, but the destination we were going to is turning into one of the hot spots. So. It, it looks like we may have to postpone. Um, we're kind of bummed about that because the place we were going was like our favorite place on earth. We love it there. So um, I know I, we should say who cares. It doesn't matter, you know, but we waited a long time. So I sh sure hope we get to have it. Um, I don't know when, but it'll definitely be postponed. Well, well listen, yeah. if, if you still want to get married after being quarantined together, this this would be the test of a lifetime to, to make sure it's going to be okay. Let me tell you something. I You know what? I wondered what I was going to learn, other than the fact that Joel often says when I ask him a question, yes and no, other than him doing that all the time, because that's one of his things, yes and no. Um, I think Smart. the best person on earth, like I know it a thousand times over. And I don't know if I would have, I mean, I, I was aware, but I think like you said, being cooped up, you know right away if you chose right. I mean, you know, I don't know if he thinks he, he chose right, but I know I did. Well, he would say yes and no. Um, <laughs> Wherever and when. Yeah. He, if you asked him, he would say yes and no. All right, we're gonna take a take break. break. Uh, more with uh, Hoda Savannah after this. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!